It is the picture every photographer wanted to get. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, Prince Harry and his fiancée Meghan Markle were snap beaming as they walked to St. Mary Magdalene Church, on the Sandringham Estate, for the Christmas Day service yesterday. This candid photo of the Royal Fab Four has been shared thousands of times on social media and has appeared on websites and in newspapers around the world this morning. But the image was not taken by a professional photographer. Instead it is the work of single mother Karen Anvil, 39, from Wadlington, Norfolk who was among the dozens of well-wishers who gathered to catch a glimpse of the royals yesterday morning. Miss Anvil described how she was able to grab the royals' attention by screaming like a fangirl and is now hoping the money she makes from it will help pay for 17-year-old daughter Rachel's university fees. Scroll down for videos speaking to the BBC, she said, I'm just very bubbly by nature and I was with my daughter and I got a bit excitable, I suppose. I was just sort of shouting and I just went Merry Christmas. Like an idiot. I was fangirling that's all I said and got them to look. Miss Anvil and Rachel were among the supporters who braved the chilly temperatures to catch a glimpse of the senior royals on their way to church yesterday. The crowds are permitted to line the route while professional photographers are restricted in where they can go, giving Miss Anvil her excellent vantage point. She shared the image on yesterday morning and was shocked when it quickly swept the web. Miss Anvil explained that at first she allowed people to use the image for free before realizing there was the potential to earn some money. Followers and other users started commenting on the picture, telling Miss Anvil she could charge for its use. Miss Anvil said she will put any money she earns towards paying for Rachel's education. She added, the thing is, and I hate to play the single mum card, I'm a single parent, I work two jobs, which I'm proud of and I've always worked. Now I want to save money for my daughter for uni and if I can do that, and can get that opportunity that's amazing. Megan was elegant in a wide collar camel wrap coat by Canadian luxury brand St. Taylor as she made her appearance with the royal family on Christmas Day. Her coat tapered in around the waist and flared out at the hem for the St. Mary Magdalene Church Christmas service. Matching her camel coat with a chestnut brown felt hat, Meghan wore a pair of coordinating 630-pound Stuart Weitzman Teeling high-heeled suede boots. Meghan and the Queen met privately with Harry before their engagement was announced but had not been seen together by others until today. After her curtsy to the Queen, Harry led Meghan to the wheelchair-ridden well-wisher who had waited in the cold to wish the couple a Merry Christmas. The pair then accepted bouquets from fans as they walked back to Sandringham House. Meghan, with her first curtsy behind her and a day of formal festivities ahead, seemed to loosen up as she greeted and accepted gifts from well-wishers. Kate, who was pregnant with her third child and showed off a small baby bump beneath a striking 2,655 pounds tartan moo coat. She completed her look with a 900 pounds round handbag in brown leather and caramel suede with a gold-coloured handle made by Chloe, while a pair of Maison Burke diamond earrings added a touch of sparkle to Ms Markle's classy ensemble. They are the same 3,500 pounds snowflake design earrings she wore to her Buckingham Palace dinner last week. 
It is thought her brown hat may be a Jane Taylor piece, a milliner popular with Kate. It is the first time Meghan and Kate have been pictured together since Meghan and Prince Harry their impending nuptials.